Hey everyone, Ryan from Foxtech here, and today I'm going to show you how to clean up caches in WhatsApp on your iPhone. Unlike Android, iOS doesn't let you clear app caches directly, and most apps don't have a built-in option to clear their caches. But don't worry, I'll guide you through the best way to free up space on WhatsApp, even if it requires a few extra steps. Let's get into it. Unfortunately, iOS doesn't offer a simple cache clearing option. So the method we're going to use involves managing WhatsApp storage and data directly. First, open WhatsApp on your iPhone and tap Settings in the bottom right corner. From there, select Storage and Data, and then tap Manage Storage. This section will give you an overview of how much space WhatsApp is using, broken down by media, large files, and individual chats. You can review the media files and large attachments that are taking up the most space. If you want to clear specific files from a chat, tap on the chat under the Manage Storage section. This will show you all the media associated with that chat. Tap Select, choose the files you want to remove, and then tap the trash icon to delete them. If you're looking to clean up more space, you can also clear chat history. Head back to Settings, tap Chats, and you'll find the option to clear all chats or delete all chats. This will remove the message history, but won't necessarily remove you from the groups or individual conversations you're a part of. For group chats, if you want to keep the group but clear out old media, you can return to Manage Storage, review the files, and delete them without leaving the group. Now, if you want to go a step further and really clean up, you can delete the app entirely. This is the closest thing to clearing caches on iOS. Deleting WhatsApp removes the app and clears the cached data, but your messages and media stay backed up if you've been using iCloud for WhatsApp backups. After deleting, restart your iPhone to clear out any leftover system data, then reinstall WhatsApp from the App Store. Offloading the app is also an option, but remember, Offloading only deletes the app itself. It doesn't remove the media files or chats stored on your device. Once you've cleaned up the files and restarted WhatsApp, you should see a noticeable difference in the space it's using. That's all for today's video. I hope this helps you manage WhatsApp storage on your iPhone. If you found this useful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tips. See you later.